Welcome back. You can create a decorative pumpkin out of just about anything. And this time around, we're going to craft two more. Amy Latta is back to help us get crafty for the upcoming fall season. So, Amy, welcome again here. Let's start with the embroidery hoop pumpkin. What do we need? Walk us through that one first. Sure. So the next two pumpkins that we're going to talk about, including this one, are using things that you can very easily find either in your craft room, something that you already have, or very quickly at the craft store. They're super simple and don't require any special skills. So that's what I love. You know, those quick, cheap, and easy projects that anyone can create. So this embroidery hoop pumpkin, all you need is a wooden embroidery hoop in any size that you like whatever fabric you want. So I chose to do an orange pumpkin this time, but you could also do one that's any other fall color, a neutral, or it can also be patterned and printed. You're just gonna need um, less than a quarter of a yard. Mine actually took um, about maybe an eighth of a yard. So if you get one of those little fat quarters of fabric, which they sell even at Walmart, you can have plenty to make your pumpkin. Then um, you're gonna need felt in brown and green, and some decorative ribbon if you like. So to create this, all you're going to do is open up the hoop. There's a little, if you're not familiar with embroidery hoops, there's just a little bit of hardware at the top here. And all you do is just loosen that screw and you're going to pop the inner hoop out and put your fabric in between the two hoops. Then you just stretch it nice and tight, tighten that screw at the top, and then you just have your hoop with the fabric inside. Then you're going to thread your felt piece. I just cut a long, thin brown rectangle and I threaded it through where that hardware is for the stem and I trimmed it to the length I wanted. Then I cut a little green felt leaf and glued it in place. And I have a little bow here because that just helps to hide all of that up at the top of the hoop and it gives you your pumpkin. And again, you can make these in any size you want with any fabric you want. So you can create a whole patch if you want and you can display them together. Um, because these are hoops, they're easy to hang on the wall. Or you can also prop it up like I had here um, with your other decor. Uh, you can prop it against the wall on a mantle or on a shelf. And it just adds a really cute, fun, little festive touch. Uh, yeah, I love the, love the orange there. Very, uh, very cool. All right. Uh, the next uh, pumpkin project uses a very unlikely supply. What is it? A toilet paper roll. Oh, boy. Okay. So, we yeah. all have that. Yes, <laughs> now we do all have this. And so we've got a toilet paper roll. And then you're going to need a square of fabric or fleece. And you can, again, of course, use any color that you like. I went with gray, uh, but you could also use that same orange fabric I used here or any other kind of fall print or pattern. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to sit our toilet paper roll inside in the center of our square. And this one, because we use like the mega roll, so our square is about 16 by 16. If you use a smaller standard roll of toilet paper, you can make it smaller. Um, if you want, like for this one, I added a little bit of polyfill around here just to make it a little fluffier, but you can do it without that as well. So I'm going to do one of each to show you. Um, so all we're doing is we're just pulling the fabric up and we're tucking it into the hole in the center of the tube. So I'm not using any glue. All I'm doing is pulling and tucking, and that's going to give you your pumpkin base as it all gets tucked in there. So you can see that this one where I added the polyfill does look a little bit rounder. So if you have polyfill, you may want to stick a little bit in. Uh, but either way, you get this cute little pumpkin. Then you're just going to take a cinnamon stick or a stick that you find in your backyard. Our new puppy is great at finding all the sticks for us. So you're just going to take that and shove it down into where that tube is. Again, you can glue it, but you don't have to glue on a little fake leaf. And if you want to tie a bow, you can. And it's ready to sit literally anywhere in your home as a fun little decoration. Looks wonderful. Amy, thanks so much for being with us. Great to see you again and perfect for fall. We'll see you again next month. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll see you coming up next. We've got more Good Day PA. Stay with us.